What's up? It's your boy Austin Rutherford back here again. We're in the middle of a pandemic when I'm shooting this thing and there's a lot of people that are getting insanely wealthy right now because they're spotting trends. There's some markets going through the roof right now and some markets crashing right now. So they're positioning themselves so when a market goes up, they can capitalize on it. They're positioning themselves so when a market goes down, they can capitalize on it. No matter how the market goes, there's always ways to make money. And like I said, now, multiple, multiple millionaires and billionaires are being made. But these same people can also lose very, very big. Because what happens is when you're trying to get ahead, when you're trying to take a big leap ahead, you have to put yourself in a somewhat risky scenario. Risk doesn't mean a, a terrible decision. It means an educated risk. You know, you look at the statistics, you look at the data and you set yourself up in a position where you think the market's going to go. If the market doesn't go that way, you can lose big time as well. In this video, I'm going to show you how I went out on a limb that a lot of people may have not done and I cashed in big time because of it, pushing almost a million dollars, probably about $800,000 in total profit off of this. But before we get started, if you could scroll to the bottom, hit that like button on YouTube. YouTube loves the algorithm when people hit that like button. It'd be greatly, greatly appreciated. While you're down there, make sure you check that subscribe and drop a comment in the comment section below, TGIM. Thank God it's Monday. So this was about three years ago. So I got into real estate and I started flipping houses. And there was a neighborhood in my town that was booming. There was all these very, very old houses, 100, 120 year old houses that were vacant and boarded up and needed a ton of work. So people were buying them for you know, 10, 30, 50, 70, $80,000 fixing them up, putting $100,000, $150,000 into the renovation, and then selling them for $300,000. The market was going crazy. Everybody wanted in, just like myself. So I went down there, started re renovating houses as well. I got in. You know, I flipped a house on basically every street in that entire neighborhood. Like I said, you can buy them for $50,000, put $150,000 into them, and sell them for three hundred dollars You make $100,000 profit, eighty dollars to hundred dollars it was a tremendous opportunity. But this specifically is not necessarily the opportunity I was talking about. Everybody was already doing this. Everybody was flipping houses. If a, if a house came up on the market there, it was sold in, in minutes. The area was that hot. But I noticed that something was missing. All these houses were being flipped, but there was individual lots with no houses on them. So every street would have one to, to five lots that had no houses on them. Everyone was flipping the houses, but the lots were just sitting there. Nobody was doing anything with them. So I thought to myself, there had to be an opportunity there. There had to be. So I started doing more research on what new construction looked like. So I started talking with builders, other entrepreneurs, other developers, other investors. And I found out that the cost to build is roughly about $120 a square foot. Again, the cost to build can be very, very different in different markets. In this market, it's about $120 a square foot, depending on the finishes. But these houses that were being renovated and selling were 3,000 square feet and four bed, two and a half bath, massive houses. So if I built a 3,000 square foot house, it would have costed me $360,000 to build it, not including the purchase price. And it's already more than what the neighborhood was selling for. The neighborhood was selling for about 300 grand, maybe 350 on a really nice house, 360 just for the build. So I started looking at other neighborhoods in my city, other neighborhoods that have went through a big renovation process and what their new construction houses looked like. And what I found is that the new construction houses were selling for about $100,000 more than the renovated houses. And they were actually smaller square footage wise. So what did I decide to do? I determined that 3,000 square feet was just too big, so I broke it down to 2,200 square feet, three stories, basement, finished basement, first level, second level, 2,200 square feet in total, four bed, three and a half bath, still in the same very desirable neighborhood. So it was a $264,000 build, and I thought, worst case, worst, 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 worst case, I could sell it for the same price that these other renovated houses were selling for in the 300 to $350,000 range. And after you know purchasing the land, building it, selling it, holding costs, transaction costs, realtor costs, all those things, if everything went bad and I only sold it for what other houses were selling for, old houses, not new houses, old houses were selling for, I'd still walk away with about $20,000 of profit. Big risk, 20 grand for nine months of work, not a good idea but I saw the upside. Because if these things sell for $100,000 more than what the rest of the neighborhood was selling for, I'd be selling these for 400, 500 a pop, making $100,000, $150,000 net profit per lot. So worst case, still make a little bit of money. Best case, I start popping off six figures a deal. So what I could have done is I could have bought one lot 
and bought it and, and built it and sold it. And eight months into it, when I sold it and made some money, then I could have gone and bought more lots. But when people see that something works, usually competition comes in. But I'm the type that wants all or nothing. I drove literally every street in the entire neighborhood, wrote down every address of a vacant lot, and started cold calling all the sellers. Every seller I was picking up the phone and calling. So I was picking up these lots for $10,000 to $30,000 because nobody was buying them. So I ended up buying 15 lots in total before I ever built a house. And then I ended up getting a great deal. It was three lots for 20 grand in total. So about $7,000 a house. So I was like, these three lots, I'm gonna start on. It's my lowest land cost. So I'm gonna get it started with the, those three. So I could squeak out of this on those three houses and make 50, 60, $70,000 maybe, or I could make a few hundred thousand dollars. So I was the first one in the neighborhood to build new construction houses. And I built all three of them at the same time. And partway through construction, the first house that we started on, pre-sold for $415,000. And the two other sold shortly after that. I made $100,000 on each of these houses, 300 grand plus on three houses. That first house, I made $127,000 net profit from taking that risk. Then, like I said, competition comes in. They saw that it was profit profitable. Everybody started cold calling lots. Prices of lots started going up because people started fighting for them. So the same lots I was picking up for 20 grand are now worth about $90,000. So for me, I stopped building because I saw so much competition come in. There was gonna be so much product that I didn't think all of them were gonna sell. I was wrong. Houses continued to fly off the shelves, flying off. Everybody's making money and I'm still sitting on all these lots. And as that market grew, I ended up buying some more lots. So, you know, they started selling for 30 and then 40 and then 50 and then 60. So I picked up a few more in the 30 to $40,000 range because I saw the market exploding. So I built a few more here and there. I ended up building maybe 10 houses in total and uh, I didn't want to risk it all. I didn't want to risk all my other new construction. So I sold the lots for a three to four X profit on what I actually ended up buying them for in the first place. And I made a ton of money doing it, so it all worked out. You have to see trends before they ever start happening. When a market's booming, you don't wanna get in in the middle or towards the end of the boom. If a market's crashing, you don't wanna get in any time during the crash. You have to be able to spot these things ahead of time and position yourself to be able to capitalize on the profit that can come from that. And remember, there's no guarantees. This is all an educated guess, an educated risk to make real money you have to put yourself at risk sometimes. We'll see you on the next one. Peace. What's up everyone, it's Austin Rutherford here and I just personally wanna say thank you for taking the time to watch my YouTube channel where we talk business, finance, real estate, and how to elevate your life. On this channel, you'll find everything from mindset to marketing, to wholesaling, to sales and negotiation, to flipping houses, to raising private money, to rentals, to Airbnbs, everything you need to run your own business, you can find on this channel, so make sure you take a look at it. But if you're one of those people who wanna work directly with me and build your own real estate company, make sure you check out thereblueprint.com, thereblueprint.com. What this is, is it's a training and a duplicate of my business. Every way in my business where we make money right now, you get everything. It's from wholesaling, to marketing, to raising private money, to, to renovating houses, to flipping houses, to buying rental properties, and the mindset that allows you to do all those things. An in-depth look at everything inside of my business. And on top of that, you get all the documents that go along with it. You get all the scripts, you get all the templates, you get all the Excel spreadsheets, you get all the contracts, you get all the credibility packets. You get literally everything you need to run your own real estate company. And on top of all that, you get live coaching calls with me. So don't miss out on it. Make sure you check out thereblueprint.com. And again, if you have any suggestions on YouTube content, YouTube videos that you wanna hear more about, make sure you drop a comment in the description below. If you have something, let me know so we can get that content out to you as quickly as possible. Again, as always, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate all the likes, the comments, the subscriptions, everything. Hope to see you on the next video. Peace.